history of genetic engineering. If we had to find one time to be, uh, have as the beginning of genetic engineering, it would be 1953 with the discovery of the structure of DNA by James Watson, Francis Crick, and Rosalind Franklin. With the discovery of DNA, we understood that traits could be passed on from generation to generation, and that every living creature, it's built from this blueprint within them, within their cells, called DNA. And now that we know that this blueprint exists, we can start modifying the DNA to change the final product, to change the organisms, to have them do different things. Um, a great example would be how genetic engineering uh, totally revolutionized the production of insulin. Uh, before the discovery of DNA, insulin used to be produced by um, gathering up cow pancreases and smashing them together and getting the juice and giving, purifying it a little bit and giving it to people with diabetes. And a lot of people had allergic reactions, some people died, it didn't work too well on these people, and there was always the problem of production. You know, how many cows can you squeeze the you know, pancreatic juices out of to make insulin? Um, but now that we know about DNA, we don't need cows. We can just take the human insulin, we can take the letters, the code for human insulin, put it into any creature of our choice, and have that creature make insulin for us. And an ideal creature would be something that is really controllable that we can grow lots of and then we could collect and purify the product from and they chose uh, E. coli you know and we take human insulin now and we just put, put that writing into the DNA of E. coli and have the E. coli produce the insulin for us and now it's very safe and it's readily available. So in that sense genetic engineering you know has really taken off because we've seen We've only l seen the beginning. We've realized that our bodies, that all living things, plants, animals, creatures, microbes, are essentially little factories, and that the DNA is just schematics that we can feed into these factories and have them create whatever we want, you know? And as the days pass, we're getting better and better at learning what we can create, you know? What do we write to have it create this? What do we write to have it create this? A, a great example right now is Many scientists are creating oil, fuel, uh, with microbes, you know. They just program into the algae, they program into the E. coli, they program into the ba bacteria to, to make oil, and they do. They even program it into trees. There's a project going on right now in Brazil where they're growing, uh, you know, if you, if you get syrup from the tree, you don't get sugars, you get um, uh, turpine that you can burn and uh, use as gasoline. So it really is uh, the, the, a way for us to harness the power of nature to really do what we need to do.